God bless you all, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. And may the joy of the Lord be our strength. Um, I just want to come on here, felt led by God, to talk a little bit about the mark of the beast. Uh, what does that look like? And um, how can it partake and play out? How is it going to play out in this world? You know, we have a lot of questions as the body of Christ. And God doesn't reveal exactly, in the sense, every second to second basis on what's going to happen. He does reveal a lot. And through the word of God, we can ask the Lord to give us understanding that we may comprehend the scriptures. Because without God, without Jesus Christ, the key that unlocks understanding in the word of God, uh, we'll never be able to understand it. We'll be as the Pharisees where they read the word, they grew up in the scripture, they know what the scripture says, but they lack wisdom to know what it means and how to apply it into this life. Uh but man, if you guys can't see that we're living in the last of days, if you're watching this video for the first time, you have no idea uh, that Jesus Christ is coming back. Let me tell you, he is. And it, it's a reality. And it's a hard reality if you're not in Christ Jesus, where uh, without God, you're going to perish in your sins, right? Because we've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. And we all deserve hell. That is complete isolation and in the wrath of the Lamb, the wrath of God. Um, but through Jesus Christ, atonement of sins is made possible because we have a loving God too, a merciful God, not willing anybody to perish. Uh, but we know that the Antichrist uh, is coming soon and he's going to take forth his spirit in a man, the man Antichrist, right? Because the man Christ Jesus, the savior of the world came, but there also is going to be a time short while for the enemy, the Antichrist to come in man form and pronounce himself as God and going to make uh, small and great, rich and poor, take the mark of the beast and worship the image of man. Now, what does it say in Revelation 13? It talks about that uh, use wisdom to calculate the number, which is the number of man. And that number is 666. All right, 603 score and six. And um, we see all throughout so many things in this world, 666. We see a lot of people make fun of it, 666. Oh, the devil's number. No, 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 it's not the devil's number. It is the number of man because the devil is trick. He's a trickster. He, he's a d deceiving serpent who wants to deceive the whole world to where they will take the mark of the beast. They will worship the mark of the beast and they'll do it unknowingly. There will be people who will be knowledgeable of it, but their fear, you know, they knew the way they knew Jesus Christ was the way they, but they feared man rather than God. We know that the word says that, uh, fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, right? In Job 28, 20, it says that fear of God, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Yet a lot of people know the way, yet they depart from, uh, they don't depart from evil, which is understanding. They don't, they're, they're a hearer of the word, but they're not a doer. But in these last of days, guys, the people who are just hearing the word of God at a pulpit, they're sitting in church and they're listening to the pastor. They have more faith in their pastor than they do God. They have more prayer time in the church for an hour than they do at all when they go home. They're going to fall. They're going to not be strong enough because in the flesh, we cannot do anything apart from Christ. Uh, and the Antichrist is coming in the sense of is already here. Okay, the Antichrist spirit has been working all throughout the human um, procreations series that God has been allowing to play out, right? He created man in his own image. We rebelled. We, we, we rebelled in iniquity. And a lot of people are going to profess the Lord. Lord, Lord, haven't I done all these things in your name? Haven't I prophesied in your name? Haven't I casted out even demons in your name? Isn't that a scary thought to where you can have the power, right, to cast out a demon, yet you yourself will spend eternal damnation in hell? Because why? Because you had iniquity in your life. What is iniquity? Because it says many, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, right, and do all these things. But it's not about doing those things that save you. It's about knowing him, and it is about abiding in him. Those who are of uh, God do not continually practice sinning because the seed of God abides in them. Look that up in first John. Okay. A uh, child of God cannot continue sinning because the seed of God remains in him remains. A lot of people have the seed of God, but we know the four soils. Okay. A lot of people, you know, have cares of the world or fear of man tries to lure them away. But the mark of the beast is already uh, fully able to be released at any moment, but God is restraining. The Holy Spirit is the restrainer, restraining the fullness of that event taking place. But the, the, how long will God allow this to happen? How long until the Antichrist is going to come in man form? 
uh, very soon. It looks like it from from where the world is and the state of the world right now, and the 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 the, the vaccinations that are uh, trying to be pushed upon humanity upon this world. It's honestly disgusting. Uh, regardless, do I believe that the that the vaccine is the mark of the beast? I don't know. I, I'm not here to say, oh, I know, oh, he knows, or this knows. What I do say is that I'm not taking it because it uh, it, it, it can change. It will change your DNA. Okay, that stuff that they put in it, um, the aborted fetal cells and all the arm mRNA uh, chi chips that they are trying to put into people. I I'm not going to be a part of that because I'm not feeling led and I don't have peace from the Lord Almighty to allow that to happen to my body. Okay, we're the temple of the living God, let alone why would we allow uh, a vaccination to come into our bodies? Okay, that has been made nine months ago. It took nine months to make, not nine months ago, nine months to make. Uh, doctors are getting fired from their jobs and their license are being taken away because they're coming out and they're saying, hey, you know, no, no, this is this is not this is not any ordinary vaccination. We know vaccinations take anywhere minimum from five to six years, but this comes out in nine months and we're all supposed to just trust the government. Our fear that we're not going to be able to do, do certain things anymore. And this is what I'm talking about. This whole thing is called social conditioning. They're socially conditioning us to get used to doing things out of our comfort zone. But but we look, the Christians, the people who are fully surrendered to God, they look crazy. They look disobedient. They look rebellious when in reality, they're the ones who are deceived. Because the Antichrist spirit is always already here, guys. It's been here, deceiving many. The God of this world has blinded the minds of those who do not believe the glorious gospel. The good news of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, the only begotten son of the living God. So they're going to be deceived. The Christians who are lazy, they don't pray. They don't ask the Lord for understanding. They're not seeking God. They're living in the flesh. They're being their own God, but they profess them with their lips. Listen, guys, there's a difference between the people who have true, genuine faith and the people who just profess a faith. Now, I'm not here to condemn anybody. God's not here to condemn you, okay? God didn't, Jesus Christ did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Because we're already condemned, born in trespasses and sin. And until we have the gospel, the good news, the word of the, the, word of the Lord uh, given unto us, preached unto us, we are hopeless without that. So I want to I, I wanna encourage you guys to, to, to wake up to this reality that, that the mark of the beast is, is very soon. And I'm not here to say this day or that day because I don't know the day, okay? God knows. But I'm here to say, hey, it's coming soon. And we need to be awakened. We need to be a praying body. We need to be a body that is ready, unspotted from the world, looking different from the world, set apart in holiness for the Lord Almighty God. Because the one who called you is holy, so ye be holy in all manner of conversation. What is conversation? That's an old King James word for lifestyle. How many people have a lifestyle that they're trying to uh, pursue for their own benefit, their own gain. Oh, I'm trying to have a fitness lifestyle. Oh, I'm trying to have a healthy lifestyle. I'm trying to have a business mindset, entrepreneur lifestyle. And that was me, guys. Okay, I used to pursue that entrepreneur lifestyle, money, chasing money, doing all these things. Regarding, uh, not regarding the word, I was just pushing away whatever I, I, about God because it hurt me, it offended me, it made me feel uncomfortable because guess what, I was living in sin but that was the Holy Spirit convicting me. So I'm here. I'm not going to make this video long. All I'm sharing with you guys today is that the mark of the beast is coming soon. Now, the vaccine could be a precursor right before the real deal, but this world is changing, guys. Do not be caught up in the world. Do not. What does light have fellowship with darkness? I don't want any of us to perish. Neither does God. Okay, let alone. So let go of this world. Let go of the cares of this world. Do not fear man. Okay, man can only destroy the mortal body, but fear the Lord because he can destroy the mortal body. And then after you die, he has the decision to be able to say, well, you're going to go to hell. Or you're going to go to heaven. Do you, do, you not, do you know that? That Jesus Christ, all power and authority in heaven and on earth was given unto the son. He has authority. He's going to be the judge of judges. All right. I'm not here to say he's going to hell. He's going to heaven. It's not my job. But what it is, is my job, unless we repent, I'm here to preach, unless you repent, you will remain in your sin and that will drag you to hell because God is so holy. 
This generation has lost the fear of God. It has lost their first love. And I'm here to say to you as a brother in Christ and a servant of the Lord, come to the Lord because there's not a lot of time. Time is ticking. Time is running out. And God have mercy on our souls because this generation is wicked. But God has his people, his praying people, his faithful people who are remaining in him and doing the will of the Father. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be blessed.